Hello everyone, the Kentucky Patriot here. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. And I do want to apologize real quick. I told you Saturday I was going to try to get to the range when my kids had uh, sports, basketball, and soccer both in one day. And uh, the, the way the brackets was, there was a delay in games. They, they won, so they, they advanced. And uh, then afterwards, my little boy's t uh, coach took the team out to eat. So my little girl had soccer and basketball. My little boy had soccer, so they were really busy. And uh, we, we, we enjoyed every minute of it, but time we got home was in the next town over. It was almost completely dark, so we wasn't able to get to the range. I won't be able to get there this Saturday either because tomorrow's the first day of deer season. And uh, uh, again, we've got sports tomorrow. My little uh, girl's got basketball, so uh, I'm not sure if I can even get to the, uh, you know, be able to take my son hunting. Uh, but if we do, we still, if we get to the range, we, we can't be shooting or anything because, uh, like I said, even if I don't hunt, Dad uh, still does, and I don't want to be out there shooting at him trying to hunt. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, long story short, uh, I was wanting to make some videos anyway. And uh, uh, this is a really a good topic, and, and a gentleman, uh, I think it was last night, Danny, uh, left this comment, and uh, <clears throat> this, this, I can't remember it all, so I'm just going to uh, read, read part of it here. He said, do you think the judge in 410 would be a good self-defense gun? I have heard some people say uh, it would get them off of you, but it may not kill them, they could still attack. Uh, I like the gun, but I would like your opinion. Do you think if someone was coming, let's say in the living room or bedroom distance, would it neutralize a threat in one or two shots, or would it probably take all six to drop them with some kind of 410 bird shot? Very good question. There's a whole lot to that, and I was thinking how to type of what I might say, and um, I just told him, I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll just make a video tomorrow so it'll be easier for me just to talk. So I hope I don't bore you to death. Uh, with this discussion, but I love talking guns. I appreciate the comment so much and I won't even tell you I'm gonna to try to hurry because every time I say that I end up talking my mind goes a thousand miles an hour all the time uh, Even when I'm uh, in, in the shower, I'll come out of the shower and there'll be four things five things running through my head And I'll tell my wife this 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 and this she's like, well, how do you think of all that? Just and I, even when I lay in bed at night my mind goes 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 That's why it's hard for me to stay on topic. My mind goes 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 all the time on something so uh, even in a video, I'm sure if you've watched very many of them, you know I, it's hard for me to stay on topic. I'll, I'll get on this or that, but I appreciate the question so much. I appreciate you thinking enough of me to ask my opinion, and uh, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys uh, watching, and, and uh, some of you shared my videos. You've liked, subscribed, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I do want to say this real quick. Um, <clears throat> there's a difference, though, between opinions and facts, okay? So, Opinions uh, is what somebody likes better or than some, maybe somebody else. So, for instance, like coffee. I love coffee, but I like strong coffee, and I, I like it plain, nothing in it. Uh, well, somebody else may say they like it better with cream or sugar. Uh, uh, this is what I like. That's what they like. That does not make me wrong or them wrong. Same thing with maybe what, what you like on pizza. I may say I, meat lovers is the best, and somebody says no vegetables is the best. Uh, a veggie pizza. Well, no matter how much you think you're, a, you know, you're right, those are still just differences of opinions. So opinion shouldn't make somebody mad just because you like something somebody else doesn't, or vice versa, shouldn't upset you. And I've got a great group of people. I'm telling you, I've met you guys have just been fabulous on my channel. I've had people comment about what a, a kind audience you guys are. Just, you're just so. Uh, just, just a class act, and I appreciate you guys. But I've noticed on other channels and stuff, people get upset because uh, somebody says Glock's the best, or somebody says Ruger's the best, or somebody says this holster's the best, or somebody says revolvers are the best, or 1911's are the best. Uh, you know, the, the thing of it is, experiences and, and uh, opinions differ, but facts are facts, and they're different. They are different than opinions. So what I'm saying is, uh, even though you may really think that your gun or your this is the best. Uh, uh, it's still your opinion, okay? An opinion shouldn't uh, upset anybody because somebody may have a different opinion than you. But now facts are facts, and that's just the way it is. So I don't care how much you like your 22 long rifle, you cannot say that it is more powerful than a 375 H and H because it's not. You may love it; it may be a great gun, but 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 that is out of the realm of opinion. That goes on into facts, okay? So <clears throat> I'm gonna try to give you a little bit of both in this. First of all, I will tell you. Uh, I really like it. I think it's it's very neat. I, and and I, I, like I said, my mind goes a thousand miles an hour. So even when I was walking the dog earlier, me and him was walking uh, up on the farm there at Dad's, and it was nighttime, and my mind goes a million miles an hour. And I thought to myself, when I was thinking about making this video, I thought, that's exactly 
somebody that's probably designed that gun is from Kentucky or Tennessee. It may not be. I have no idea who designed it, who came up with it, but I thought that's just like somebody to, <laughs> from Kentucky or Tennessee to design a pistol that shoots a shotgun round. I just thought. But anyway, I love the idea. I love the. I love the when people come up with something new, something exciting, and it was. I remember a few years back, it was the craze. My uncle, uh, my dad's only brother, he moved to Florida now, so I don't get to see him as much, but uh, when we lived here, uh, we shot all the time. I hope he moves back, because he's got, he's got a lot more guns than I do, and he'd be glad to let me use them anytime, and we could do videos with it. But this was long before YouTube. This was long before uh, uh, I even dreamed of having a YouTube channel. I don't know if he, YouTube is even around. Uh, but I remember when the Taurus came out, uh, and it was it was the big rage. Everybody was talking about it. He got one, and he brought it up to Dad's farm. Couldn't wait for me to get up there with him to shoot it. We just want to try it out. Uh, like I said, we've done this kind of stuff before YouTube ever came. This is just you know who we are and what we like to do. Uh, but we were going to pattern, you know, like most people do with their shotguns. So we set a piece of cardboard up, and we took the uh, uh, the judge, and we went to shoot the cardboard aimed dead center. And the pattern on that gun, and I'm not talking long range, I, I don't remember the exact feet, we, I'm sure we didn't measure, but we just combat distance, you know. Uh, it, it hit the target and the pattern completely sprayed all over the hillside. So at a real close range, the pattern was huge. And I don't mean a different round, a different day, anything like that, the exact same rounds, the same shells of the same box. We tried my wife's 410 that you've seen me make other videos with, and it was my wife, I think, that actually shot it. And she shot the cardboard and the pattern was like this. So the pattern was so much closer uh, and tighter with the 410 than it was with the judge. Now, let me say all this, and I don't want you to think that, because the Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. I don't want you to think I'm wishy-washy or telling you something different in one video than I do in another video. Uh, but when I was talking about, and I've said it in several videos, about uh, birdshot being lethal, uh, for home defense or being a, 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 an option that is a viable for home defense, what I was meaning was, I think I said it, but I'm not sure if I did in the last video with the ballistics gel, what I was meaning was in 12 gauge configuration. Because what happens is when you have that long barrel like that, uh, at a close range, not 100 yards, but combat distance inside the house, with a 12 gauge, basically what you have is still a real tight pattern, so it's more like a fist. So if you've seen something shot close range with a uh, 12 gauge of bird shot like this, you're talking uh, a pattern like this and it basically has a hole straight through. I mean, you'll see a few few uh, pellets here and there, but basically that's what it is. It doesn't have time to expand, so all that force is hitting uh, just like that, which, which really adds to the, uh, uh, the power and the lethality of it. <clears throat> now, when a 410 configuration, you have a lot less power and a lot less shot. So, uh, when, when you're talking about defense, I'm assuming you're saying home defense, but this, this will pretty much be for uh, concealed carry too. I don't know if you meant concealed carry or not, but for concealed carry, I would definitely, definitely not uh, recommend birdshot for self-defense. Uh, <clears throat> but now, of course, you all know that the uh, judge also shoots any other shotgun round too, such as two and, th uh, two and a half, I think they are. Some of them may shoot three. I think that might be the raging judge. I forget now. Uh, but even in two and a half, you can get buckshot, or, or, or slugs or the 45 long colt. And uh, yes, I said long colt, and I'm gonna maybe do a video on that one day because people say all the time there is no such thing as long colts because there never was a short. And I'll talk about the skull fields and all that another day. But you look on your ammo boxes, it says long colt. You look on the manufacturer's website, it says long colt. So I won't go into all those. So before you tell me there's no such thing as a long colt, I'll do a video on that one day. Like I told you, my mind goes a million different directions. Uh, but anyway, on the uh, bird shot for 410, I, I would not recommend it for home defense because you you have a whole lot less pellet count. Regardless of the shot you're using, your, your pellet count is going to be way, way, way down, and your power and velocity is going to be way down. Not only because you're going from a 12-gauge shell to a 410 shell, but also because you're going from a barrel like this on a shotgun to a barrel like this on the judge. So you're losing all the way around and velocity and speed and the pellet count is what is going to give you your uh, ability to be able to defend yourself. That's my opinion. Now I've got another uncle on mom's side and, I, and you have to do what's best for you. You have to decide what's best for you. His school of thought is totally different than mine. Matter of fact, he uses the judge or did, I guess he still does, for home defense. And his first shot out of there was bird shot. And he said the reason he'd done that is because he knew he couldn't miss. So if he shoots down the hallway, 
It's going to be such a pattern that it's going to hurt the perpetrator, hit them here and there, and they're going to be like this. And then he loaded it with Colt, uh, 45 Colt after that rounds, and then was going to finish him off. Uh, that's his philosophy. That's what he wants to run. That's up to him. Uh, but I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't if it was me. Uh, I would use something like Bur uh, I'm sorry, buckshot or a 45 Colt rounds in my judge if I was going to use a judge for home defense. Now. Like I told you, I really like the Judge. I think it's a neat idea. I think it's great. I think it's a fun range gun. Uh, there, there's so many cool aspects of the gun. It just looks cool. It's got a huge cylinder. I mean, it's just fun to uh, look at, tinker with. If you've never shot one, uh, it, it's, a, it, it's just an absolute blast. Um, but but uh, this is my opinion now. Now, I, I don't want to offend anybody or hurt nobody, but when you ask me for my honest opinion, I'm giving you my honest opinion, okay? As much as I like the Judge, uh, it's not real cheap, and I think that you can have a lot better home defense options for less money, such as something like a Mossberg Shockwave, something like a uh, Remington uh, 870, something like a uh, Benelli. I think there's a lot of shotguns, and some people don't like the Shockwave for home defense, and uh, that, that that's uh, uh, up to you. Personally, I love it. I think it's great. I tried it. A uh, buddy sent me one. And I took it to the range and absolutely loved it. I think it'd be a great uh, uh, asset to you for home defense. But if you don't like it, that's okay. I still think it's a good option. So to make a long story short, if I was going to use the judge, now if you have the judge and that's what you're going to use, that's what you have. Uh, I'm not saying that it, that, that it won't save you, that, that it's not a good gun, that it's not reliable. Now I can't attest to shooting no thousand rounds through it. My uncle had it. I don't think he has it anymore. I think he did get rid of it. The, the, the one from Florida, my dad's brother, that we tested it that day. Uh, uh, and it worked, worked fine, ran fine. Uh, but what I'm saying is, even if you're shooting a Colt through it, instead of having a six or five and a half or seven inch barrel or whatever, I don't know what, whatever barrel length you're talking about, you are already taking a slow moving bullet, which is the Colt 45, and you are reducing that barrel length out of a short barrel, now you're reducing the velocity of already a slow moving bullet, if that makes sense. So, uh, like I said, I, ho I, ho I hope this didn't break your heart. Now, I know there is uh, uh, some others, maybe takes a three inch shell, and I cannot attest to uh, uh, shooting anything out of that. I know they make those PDX1 rounds. Now, they are slow moving rounds that I've tried out of my 410. And I will tell you, you shoot a 410, kids can shoot it with their eyes closed. There is no recoil whatsoever. You put those three inch PDX1 rounds in a 410 configuration, the recoil is very, very tough. I mean, you can really feel it on your shoulder. So I don't know how it would be out of a judge. Uh, so I'm, I'd say it'd be pretty brutal. But you know, I don't know as far as the performance, how that would work. Uh, but to, to make a long story short, I like the gun. I really do. I think it's. I think. I think it's. I really like the engineering, the the, the ingenuity. Just somebody coming up with that idea. Uh, I think there's some really cool things you can do with it. Uh, but for home defense, it certainly would not be my first choice. Um, and and like I said, it, it's not to offend anybody or hurt anybody. It wouldn't be my second or third choice. I'll just be honest with you. If I was going with a revolver, to me there's so much better options. If I was going with a shotgun, to me there's so much better op so many better options. So. Uh, I, I do like it, but like I said, um, if I had it and that was what I was going to use and that's what I was going to run, I'll be honest with you, uh, as soon as I looked at that gun, birdshot would be off the table. Birdshot would be off the table. Uh, because again, you're not going to have the velocity, you're not going to have the pellet count, you're not going to have the foot pounds of energy to uh, neutralize a threat, even if you use, I can't remember if the judge has five or six rounds, I can't remember. Uh, the chamber, but even five or six, I don't think you'll you'll have enough stopping power. Even if you shot somebody six times with that to neutralize the threat, I really don't. Uh, I, I think it would be a. I know, I mean, and, and when somebody says, "Well, you don't want to get shot with it," means it'd be good for home defense or whatever. But I don't want to get shot with a pellet gun. But that don't mean it's going to neutralize the threat. Okay, so uh, you know, I don't think you're going to get the force, the energy. The knockdown power, as we call it, or stopping power, even if you used all five rounds out of a, a judge with a short barrel out of a 410 shell uh, in that configuration. So I would immediately take birdshot off the table. <coughs> uh, probably need to do some testing of your own with it. 
but I would see how a uh, a colt uh, in I don't know what grain would really be the best, but uh, maybe look at some of the the defense ammo. Uh, like if you, let's say I had some more critical defense for my uh, 45. What I would do was make sure out of that short barrel that you're still getting expansion and still enough penetration because you, you know, you're know you going to be losing velocity of a slow moving bullet so you still want to make sure you get penetration you still want to make sure you get expansion um, also some good options may be uh, buckshot now I think there's like three pellet double lock buck comes in 410 configuration uh, you may want to look into those PDX1 rounds or uh, also uh, I think those PDX1 uh, rounds ones I had the three inch uh, they perform fabulous but I think they also come in two and a half or you, know, you may want to look into a, a slug now, I won't hold you too much longer, but I will tell you this. I did not have very good luck performance-wise out of the slug that I shot at my wife's 410. Uh, it is fragmented in the first jug, and the penetration was not there. Uh, but I was shooting it out of a longer barrel, and loads of bacon commented on there, and he said the reason that happened because the velocity was too high for that bullet. And I think he was right. He said instead of it was the advertised velocity of 1,800 feet per second, he said if it's 11 or 1,200 feet per second, I'd have got a lot better performance. Well, when you shorten that barrel, like I said on the judge, you have a little small barrel, you're going to be losing a whole lot of velocity. So then a slug then could very well be a very good viable option for you. Uh, I, I've never tested a slug out of the judge. I mean, we may have shot them, but I've never... Uh, uh, tested their performance. And that may be a video for another day if I can get somebody to let me borrow a judge. But <clears throat> long story short, um, if it was me and my family, uh, the judge would not be my first choice. And I, it might be another video for another day, but somebody has asked me before, did I think 45 Colt it, it would be uh, uh, sufficient for home defense? Uh, my answer is yes. Yes, I guess I do. Uh, especially with the right gun, with the right barrel, with the right loads. I, I certainly think it, it, it would be and could serve you well. But if you're asking me about the judge, uh, like I said, uh, love it, think it's cool, would not be my choice for home defense. And if I was going to use it for home defense, no birdshot. And again, I don't want you to think that what well, last video he said that birdshot would do this and do that. Again, I was talking out of a 12 gauge configuration with your normal uh, legal barrel out of a 12 gauge uh, and, and even if I was going to use a 12 gauge I would still want uh, uh, something like number five shot I would not want number eight shot I'd want something number five you know a little, little bigger shot holds together and I think that would serve you well so uh, <clears throat> appreciate you watching I appreciate you guys commenting and I always appreciate you guys how just a class act of, of Pete just, just what a great group of guys that that your comments are always uh, on target, your, your, your comments are always so kind. I learned from you all, there's some of you guys like, wow, that's a really good thought, a really good point, a really good, I and mean, I know a lot of you guys are gun guys, you're shooters, and that's basically what I want you to platform. We can all get together, share ideas, share your experiences. You tell me, a lot of you guys, I guarantee you on the, the judge, a lot of you guys have experience with the judge. Is there something I'm missing? Is there something I should have added? Something that uh, uh, you feel that, uh, and, and this always ought to be a civil debate. If somebody really likes the judge and uses their home defense and swears by it, and somebody don't, we should still be able to debate and share ideas and still realize, hey guys, we're all on the same team. It's still about keeping our family safe. Um, so, like I said, anytime I give an opinion, and that's what I always want to do is make sure that I'm honest with you, that you know that I'm not trying to sell you nothing. I mean, Taurus isn't paying me to say anything, even though I give the best review I could possibly give on a, on the G2C. Uh, like I said, if I like something, I tell you, and if I don't, I tell you, because I want you to feel like you can trust me. I want you to feel like I'm honest with you. I want you to feel like, hey, this is here. It's his experience that he's sharing with me. He don't have nothing up his sleeve. He don't have nothing that he's trying to... Uh, you know, manipulate or anything. So it's not that way at all. I appreciate you guys. I thank the world of you. I appreciate you thinking enough of me to even ask these questions. So if you have any questions, have any ideas for a video, anything you'd like to see, anything you'd like to discuss, feel free to leave in a comment below. Below, I might make a video with it. I might give me something an idea to range. Um, but I'm on Facebook, on Instagram. It really means a lot to me when you comment, when you share, when you like, when you subscribe. Uh, I will tell you this, I monetize now, so I get advertisements on my video. I won't take any money I get from that, try to put it back into my channel and try to make targets and, and, and get um, just get more ammo in a video, just get different uh, uh, things, because I really enjoy this and I wanna uh, do my best for you, because I, I appreciate you uh, taking the time out of your day 
uh, uh, to watch these videos. It's very humbling. Appreciate you guys. May God bless you. Wish you the very best. Deer season's coming up. Wish you guys the very best. May God bless you, the Kentucky Patriot. Signing off.